Hey guys, this is SnackDeck8, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 3. This is part 3. Not part 3, but part 3, because this is Mega Man 3, and that's not funny, so I should really sh should stop doing it. Um, now, when we left off last time, I was kind of like having a little trouble deciding who to fight next. Um, and so I'm going to give us a little brief overview of what we've done so far and like weaknesses and stuff just to make sure everyone's on the same page. So since we did Top Man first, because he's, I, in my opinion, he's the easiest, Top Man's biggest weakness is Hard Man, but you don't want to do Hard Man because he's tough to beat with just the Mega Buster. Um, so if you do Top Man first, he, Shadow's weak to Top. And then after that, there's a little bit of wiggle room because um, this guy up here, Spark Man, his biggest weakness, which is only four damage, um, his biggest, he has two big weaknesses, both are only four, which is um, Shadow Man's power and his own power. So Spark is four times effective on Spark, but that won't make sense till later, because how could you use the own enemy's power on the enemy? Um, so what you can do here is there's a little bit of wiggle room between Magnet and Spark, I think. Because um, Magnet, while being seven times weak to Shadow, is also seven times weak to Spark. So if you want, you can beat Shadow, then go up here and beat this guy and come down and beat Magnet, and use Magnet to beat Hard. And then you have these three left, and the deal with Snake, Needle, and Gemini is that, um, Snake's power is super effective on Gemini, and Gemini is super effective on Needle, and if you, you might have guessed, Needle is super effective on Snake. So, one of these guys you have to beat without their biggest weakness, because obviously, if you want to fight Snake Man, per se, you'll need Needle Man, but if you, be you can't beat Needle Man with Gemini, if you want to get his weakness, because Gemini's weak to Snake. So it's kind of like a triangle between these last three. Basically, I'm going to do Spark Man now, and that's kind of all we've got as far as wrap-up, though, goes. And that took two minutes. <laughs> that's ludicrous. Um, but it, this is sort of a confusing um, sort of boss... Uh, I don't know what to call it, really. Boss-like pattern. Um, or boss combination or order or whatever you want to call it. I knew I was going to get hit by that. Um, but really what you have to keep in mind is that there's going to be some that you're going to have to do without their biggest weakness. Uh, Sparkman, though, who is sort of like the tough guy, he doesn't really have a super weakness. Like his, as I said, it'll, well, the two things he's weakest to most only do four damage. Um, and one of those is the Shadow Blade, so I think it's just easy to do him now. Uh, and I felt this is, or I've found that this is the most generally accepted order. We got another one of these D bags up here. These guys are always kind of just annoying. Ow! You weren't supposed to hit me. They're easy to dodge, but they take a bunch of hits. And I don't want to use my shadow blades because I'm gonna want to save those for the boss. Ah, no, that's not what I wanted. Okay, let's. Um. Now, if you're playing on an emulator or something, you can use like a rapid fire function to like get shots to go faster, but I can't do that on here, he just, like, it's not fast enough. I'm playing this on the virtual console, um, so yeah, these par this part's scary, these things will rise up. Um, they're not too hard, but they're definitely intimidating, because those spikes up there are an instant kill, um, as it is with these games. Now this part is just stupidly annoying, um, and a lot of the time I just kind of, well, am I going to take damage here? Yeah, yeah I usually just kind of take damage on that. Um, because it's so hard to time. Uh, you're done. Get a little energy. I think we're gonna use Rush Coil here. Um, so we can get that big one up there. Yeah. Uh, is there anything that needs to be topped off? Well, Rush Coil, I guess we can just keep that out. Right? Okay. Alright, pick something. <laughs> you can't just exit out of there, you have to pick a power to get. Um, alright, there we go. Let's go back to P. And continue onward. The music in this level is really cool too, um, as is just the sort of general theme. I like how it's all like the walk, not the walkways, but the floors are all flashy. It's pretty cool. And we've got a really long hallway, or not a hallway, but a little really long vertical drop. I feel like I called those hallways in another game too. I think I called them that in Metroid. Now these look intimidating, but really just jump over the first one and run through. They're not hard. This is a pretty easy stage, which is why I would say, um, Doing it before you do Magnet isn't the, like, worst decision. It's, it's actually kind of wise. Now here, oh man, well don't just run right off the screen. Don't do that, guys. That's a stupid thing to do. Um, here, oh, I guess we have to run over this again. Do-do-do-do-do. Jump over the trash. I guess this is, like, 
um, compacted trash. It kind of looks like there's an eye in there, which is kind of scary, but I don't think it's supposed to be. Um, I don't know why that would be in Sparkman's stage. It's uh, kind of ridiculous. Ow. Oh. Well, at least we got the invincibility from that, so we didn't hit the spikes. Ah! I died. Are you serious? Why can't I jump? Okay, well, that's the game over. <laughs> Here's the game over screen. Obviously, this game works on passwords. Really cool music. Brental Floss did, um, a, uh, lyrics to this, and it's hilarious, and I would suggest you go check that out. Um, I'm not gonna link it, because, I mean, it's Brental Floss, but whatever. Uh, I'm gonna meet you right back where we were, um, so I'm gonna go through Spark Mad again. So until then, I'll see you guys! Blah! I suck at this game. I suck at this game. Alright, um, I think I should rephrase my words. This level is, um, pretty easy. It's just this room that is such a butt face. Um, it's really kind of stupidly hard. Um, and you're gonna be taking hits here, so make sure you... I think that's why they give you that, um, big life just kind of sitting out there. Um, because they know, like, you're gonna take hits. <laughs> it's inevitable in that room. Um, let's get our Shadow Blades equipped. Go on to space Sparkman. Uh, now, I kind of always forget how Sparkman goes. I don't think he's too hard, though, really. Because uh, he just kind of shoots out these little spark blasts. It's really not too difficult. Um, ow. Yeah, see, that's easy as pie. He's really pretty easy, actually. Um, it's just, I guess, I think he's easy because he doesn't really have a direct super weakness. And this is the room where he just hits his head on the ceiling. That's pretty funny. Um, because it's got that big, uh, big protrusion in the middle, which I should have remembered. You got Spark Shock, um, which is another cool color scheme. Kind of like that. Um, okay, so now we've got these three left who are all weak to each other, and we're gonna have to... These guys are like the cool kids. Like, they're like the clique, and this is high school, mind you. And we're gonna have to sort of weasel our way in by becoming friends with one of them. And the one I suggest you become friends with is Snake Man. Um, cause his stage is pretty simple, and he's not the di most difficult boss. He's got a pretty easy pattern, but I always just mess up on it. Um, and it's one of those ones where it's sort of like, I know how to do you, like you're really easy, but I always just get hit cause I get nervous or something, cause he kinda jumps around a lot. This is my favorite stage in the game, uh, regardless of that. The music here is awesome. It's the, I'd say it's the best track in this game. Um, and there's a really awesome remix for it. Uh, um, they did they released like a Mega Man like 20th anniversary or something collection, and there's a really awesome techno uh, version of this song that I love quite a lot. Uh, I'm getting my ass kicked here. These snaky guys are actually kind of annoying because they kind of when you first enter this room, there's kind of like no way to defeat them. Um, so you're gonna have to take a couple hits. I am, I'm not gonna lie though, I'm pro at fighting these big snake guys. Um, and I, it's not too hard really, but uh, they're very easy. And they look intimidating, but they're not. Because you really just kind of have to wait, and then jump, and then jump, and then kind of like jump to the side so that you go over uh, these blasts. And here we got some easy pickup free energy. That, that'll top you off pretty much. I don't know really why they're so generous. Um, but Snake Man stage is actually pretty easy. Uh, these guys, you can kind of just um, wait for them to go, and then jump, and then they'll always run the direction you are, so you can just kind of shoot them in the back. Um, and those guys, they're like, they have, it's weird because they have like these arms, and they always just look like noses to me, and it makes it look like the little guys who um, are sort of like just eyes and arms on the top half. It makes them look like monkeys to me, and so that's what I've always sort of just looked at them as. We'll see some more later. Um, now these question block things, if you destroy these you can get a random power up, and there's sometimes lives and energy tanks in there, um, so those are uh, worth picking up. And you don't have to kill this guy like twice and just go back up there, you can just run past him to get up that ladder. Um, so I would, I would recommend that if you're not that great at this game like I am. Um, yeah, pump this big old tower. This is a cool part. It kind of reminds, well, not this part yet, but uh, in a little bit, there will be a pretty cool uh, area that kind of reminds me of Crash Man, who is my favorite from Mega Man 2. In case you were wondering, I love Crash Man. Crash Man is awesome. I think it's either Shadow or Snake in this game for me, definitely. See? Look, he has arms, but that looks like a like a big black like 
mouth or like an open mouth or a smile or something and the little hand the white part that looks like a nose and he looks like a monkey and that's a tough jump to make um, and I've carelessly died there a bunch of times but you really just have to make sure you're on the very edge before you jump that's all you gotta do this part this kinda reminds me of Crash Man because you're climbing up these tall ladders um, and up here uh, you got kind of an annoying segment where there's like these smokestacks and um, they shoot these clouds out. Now these clouds are a little bit glitchy um, and I found that if you shoot right before one comes out it'll sort of like nudge you over to the side and you'll fall off. Uh, so definitely just kind of stand and wait for it to rise before you do anything. Uh, and now these guys, if you hit them, they turn into like bullet bills. Um, so shoot them before, because they take a couple hits to uh, get rid of. Shoot them before uh, they get to you, or if they'll fly right over. But shoot them before they get to you, so you don't have to shoot them. You can just kind of just dodge them. And I think we're doing okay here. Ooh, that was nerve wracking. Here's Snake Man. All right, let's get our Shadow Blades equipped. Snake Man is marginally weak to Shadow. I don't remember how many hits or how many damage it does, um, but I'd say this is the best weapon when you're taking him on. Now what he does is he'll, he does a very kind of simple pattern where you really just have to, um, alright let's wait for him to get back over. You have to stand on here and then jump over him and then, oh wait, ah, see I always mess it up. And then jump over these, shoot him a couple more times, and then jump over him again and then he'll shoot the snakes but they're no big deal so you always wanna kinda keep yourself on the center platform um, ah, this would be easier if I could hit him um, you can do this with the power beam or the mega buster kinda and it's not really too big of a deal um, and it's probably a trade-off cause that'll do less ooh, ah, that'll do less damage but um, these are a little harder to hit him with um, but you know it's whatever like, you can just do whatever you want, really. He's Snake Man, he's not that hard. Alright, yeah. I'm doing much better at this pattern than I normally do, too, which is, uh, exciting me. But then again, I, like, died on... Who did I die on? Did I die on Magnet Man? I think I died... I died somewhere, like, really pathetically easy that I don't usually die on. Um, which is weird. I guess that's sort of how LPs go, though. What can you do, really? Yeah. I mean, guess you bumped your head on that one, too. Yeah, and then we get this kind of stupidly almost useless power, which is, if Mega Man will slide to the right, you got Search Snake. And I like the green, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a big fan of the green, green is my favorite color, which is probably why Snake Man's stage is like my favorite, but um, I love green. Anyway, in the next episode, we're going to do Gemini, who is weak to Snake Search. And then Gemini will come on over up and take out Needleman, who is who I always do last. Um, and that's his weakness. And then we'll be done with the eight robot masters. And I'm not going to spoil it directly, but there's a little bit more afterwards. Um, so until then, I've been Snack Attack 8. I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later!